What's up everybody, Chris Puncelon here, back with another Machine Masters video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I made a beat using DJ Final and Booney Mayfield's newest kit called at the end of the video, we're gonna take a look at some of the sounds, but for now, let's get into the beat. First off, I'm gonna start with the sample, and it was hard for me to decide which sample to use just because there are so many dope samples in this kit, but I ended up going with this one called Menage et Trois. <laughs> Kept it at the same tempo, but I decided to pitch it up three semitones. EQ'd out the low frequencies, duplicated the sample, then I EQ'd out the highs and mids, then I threw on this plugin called R Bass by Waves. And the reason I duplicated the sample and did all of this EQing is so I can manipulate the bass line without uh, altering the highs and mids of the sample. Then I started to build my drums, chose this kick, this snare, this hi-hat, this hi-hat loop, and this drum loop for some texture. Then I built this drum pattern. Added some extra keys from Omnisphere. Threw in some vocals from Exhale. Then I built a tom slash ride fill using addictive drums. Then the last thing I added to this beat was a harp lead melody using the VST trophies. Tom. If you're interested in purchasing this kit, uh, visit machinemasters.com or you can click the link in the description. It will be in there. And um, yeah, let's take a look at some of the sounds in this kit. Before we get into the outro of this video, I just want to speak on a topic that was brought up um, in one of my videos that I made last week about making music that you like and the importance of that over um, making something that will do well on your beat store. Now, I'm bringing this up because I want to hear your thoughts, so leave your thoughts in the comments below, but my argument was that it's better to make music that you enjoy um, over making music that will sell. Um, let's say that you like to make lo-fi beats and that's not something that will do well on your website But you know that trap music will do well, but you don't really enjoy making trap music Do you continue to make lo-fi music even though that won't sell or do you continue to make? What's trending and what's hot and what will do really well on your beat store? I have my thoughts I would like to hear yours, leave them down in the comments below. Is it more important to make music that you enjoy or is it more important to make music um, that will sell? Leave your thoughts below. And that is gonna conclude today's video. Shout out to Knox Squared, Boom Bap Art, Okami Music, It's Jano Beats, Demond or Demond, I'm sorry if I mispronounced that, MBZ, Sounds Contagious, Joseph, Larry James, and Andy Mar TV for leaving comments on my last Machine Masters video. Again, if you're interested in purchasing this kit, it will be linked in the description, or you can visit machinemasters.com. Shout out to DJ Final and Booney Mayfield for making a super dope kit. Um, at the end of this video, I'm gonna play a snippet of the beat so you guys can hear that and see my screen and see what the arrangement looks like. 
And um, yeah, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, feedback, suggestions, anything, leave them down in the comments below. I will be responding to every single comment and I would love to hear your thoughts on the argument of making music that you like versus making music that will sell. Um, that is gonna conclude today's video. Thank you guys for paying attention. Please pay your producers and please visit machinemasters.com for anything production related and I'll see you guys in the next video.